guys and welcome to a predications daily tech tips in today's tech tip you're learning how to clear or delete your history in Google Chrome and this includes your search history your browsing history your cookies cache data all the history in your Google Chrome browser so to do this all you need to do is launch Google Chrome and then you want to go to the Chrome menu in the top right side. It's these three dots. Click on that. Put your mouse over history and then select history. And this will show you all your history in your Google Chrome browser. Now you can delete specific entries by simply going to that entry and click on the menu for that entry on the extreme right side. Click on that and then select remove from history. And that particular entry will be gone. And you can do this for several entries. And that's only if you want to delete specific entries of your Google Chrome history. Now you can delete your Google Chrome history in bulk. All you need to do is go to the left hand side and click on clear browsing data. Now on this page, a little pop up window will appear and it gives you several options of how to delete your Chrome history. Now the first option is time range and this lets you select the time range for which you want to delete your history. You can delete your Chrome history for the last hour, the last 24 hours, the last 7 days, the last month, or you can delete all the history in your Google Chrome browser. So you can select your preferred time range. And then also you can clear your browsing history and your cookies and other site data and cached images. Now if there's anything here you don't want to delete, you can simply uncheck from these boxes like that and those ones will not be deleted. Now one thing to note is that if you signed into your browser like I have, this browsing history is also synced to your Google account. And so if you delete the history here, it's also going to be deleted in your Google account. Now, if you don't want that to happen, if you want to delete from your browser and still keep that history in your Google account, all you need to do is click on sign out before you do anything else. Simply sign out so that it stops syncing to your Google account and then go ahead and click on clear data to delete your history. Now you also have a couple of advanced options here. Once again, you get a time range, and once again, you get browsing history, and you can also choose to delete your download history, or uncheck that if you don't want to, cached images and stuff like that, site settings, and you can also delete passwords and other sign-in data from your browser. All these options are at your disposal, so you can check and uncheck whatever you want to delete and whatever you don't want to delete. And once you're happy, again, click on clear data. And that's how to delete your Google Chrome history on your PC or a Mac. Now you can also delete your Google Chrome history on mobile. So all you need to do is launch Google Chrome on your mobile, either your iPhone or your Android device. And then you wanna go to the menu in the bottom right side or the top right side, depending on what interface you're using. So go to the menu, it's usually these three dots and select history. Now this will show you your history. And you can delete specific entries by tapping on edit and then you want to select specific entries that you want to remove and then tap on delete in the bottom right side but then if you want to bulk delete simply tap on clear browsing data and then once again here you can check and uncheck whatever data you want to delete and you can also choose a time range for which you want to delete google chrome history and when you're happy with your selections tap on clear browsing data and confirm you want to clear browsing data and confirm that. And that's really how to clear your browsing history in Google Chrome. Thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.